This is the Ogre from MattOgre.com, WeTheArm.com, and Basin Sports. And we've got here a new gun from Dan Wesson, owned by CZ USA. Uh, Dan Wesson, this is the V-Bob, which is what Dan Wesson put out to replace the Bobtail Commander. The Bobtail Commander was about a thousand bucks, a thousand fifty bucks. Um, very good gun, very popular, solid stainless, and just beautiful. And the V-Bob is uh, a little bit more subdued. Uh, unfortunately, the price on it jumped up considerably. Uh, MSRP sixteen fifty-eight. We're selling it for fifteen fifty, and that's actually a pretty good price from what I've seen on dealer shelves before. Uh, but let's look at the V-Bob. The V-Bob has uh, really nice grips, and I'm doing this in macro so you can guys can see the detail. Uh, it's got linen micarta grips. They're kind of a slimline grip, so it keeps the profile very narrow, fits the hand very well. The checkering is, uh, it, well, it's not really checkering. You can see it's got, uh, uh, it's part of the frame where it's CNC milled in and the checkering is not actually cut into the frame. Uh, same thing on the back strap here. Uh, good smooth uh, speed bump on the back of the uh, grip safety here. You can see the milling, the, the quality of the uh, the fit and finish is just kind of indicated here in the very back between the slide and the frame and uh, it's very solid uh, with, the, with the slide locked back, solid forward. The slide operates very smoothly They've done a nice bevel on the uh, dovetail front sight. And notice that the front sight post is very thick. That's more of a big dot type front sight. Followed up by a Heine straight eight type rear, which has become very popular and, and is actually one of my favorite types. Uh, it's very easy to see the front sight post and make an accurate shot day or night. The action is pretty much polished. You've got a match grade barrel. Uh, you've got a nice tight match grade bushing up there. Uh, you have a GI type uh, guide rod, so there's no uh, full length guide rod on, on this. Makes it easier to take down. The controls pop really easy, really well. Um, it's all fit very well, very tight. Uh, one feature I like is the safety. It snaps off and snaps on. Very secure. There's no mush in it like a lot of the Smith & Wesson 1911s get kind of mushy in that control. The trigger pull is very, very nice and crisp. And it's actually very light, uh, underneath four pounds. Uh, great gun. Uh, this is a good improvement over the Bobtail Commander. But with that huge price increase, we're talking a 400 buck jump. I don't know. That's your call. But the clean lines with no big bulletins on the side. Um, it's just aesthetically a beautiful gun. A very well made gun, a very high quality gun. Coming out of Dan Wesson of Norwich, New York. So it's an all USA made gun owned by an American company, CZ USA. So that's a great gun if you're looking for something kind of special, something very nice, very elegant, no bells and whistles, no fancy engravings, no fancy moldings, uh, no fancy wood trying to make you feel like you're buying something a little bit more than what you are. I'm not going to name any names. You know, I wouldn't want to disparage anybody who has, you know, anything else. But if I was going to buy a 1911, if, if I was going to say, if one of you guys were to say, hey, Ogre, here's my credit card, 
buy yourself a nice gun. We appreciate all the good work you do on these awesome videos. This right here would be the gun I'd pick. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anyway, there you go. Peace.